Now discuss about the anatomy of radius. This is the anterior view of the radius. This is posterior view of the radius. This is anterior view, this is posterior view of the radius. Radius has upper end, lower end and is soft. Features of the upper end, upper end has head. Head is disc like. Upper end has head. This is disc like. Then there is neck. Then there is tuberosity. This is tuberosity, this is radial tuberosity. Anterior part is smooth and posterior part is rough. So this is head, here is neck and the radial tuberosity. This features the upper end. Now lower end. If you see the lower end, it is like this. It has five surfaces. This anterior surface is prominent. This surface, radial artery can be palpate or radial artery is palpated here. It lies anterior to this. Radial artery lies anterior to this here. So radial artery palpate against the radius. So this is radial artery. So this is anterior surface and here is medial surface. This is medial surface. This surface forms the here and here. It forms the ulnar notch. This is ulnar notch. This is ulnar notch. And this is posterior surface from here to here. This is posterior surface. And in posterior surface, one tubercle is present. This tubercle is dorsal tubercle of the Lister. This is dorsal This is dorsal tubercle of Lister. Here. And in posterior surface, there are four groups for the for extent for the extensor tendons here is one group this is first this is second group this is third group this is fourth group so four groups are present here and the posterior surface so these are groups this is lister tubercle so first second third fourth groups on the posterior surface. This lateral part, this lateral surface, this lateral surface, it projects downward and forms the styloid process. This is the styloid process. Process. And this inferior surface, this is inferior surface. This inferior surface articulates with scaphoid and lunate bones and form the wrist joint. So this is lower end and from here to here this is shaft. This shaft is if you cut a section you will find like this. It has anterior border, posterior border and interosseous border.
So this is anterior border and its mirror image is posterior border. This is posterior border. Here is rough part of radial tuberous. This is posterior border. So anterior border, upper part is oblique, known as anterior oblique line. This is anterior oblique line. Posterior parts from posterior oblique line. Now, surfaces. This surface from here to here, this and this surface, anterior surface here, foramen is present. This is known as nutrient foramen. Direction of the foramen is upward and through this nutrient branch of anterior interosseous artery passes. This is nutrient branch of anterior interosseous artery. It passes through this nutrient foramen and going into this bone is lower end. So this is present on the anterior surface, this is lateral surface and this is posterior surface. So it has three surfaces and three borders. So this is all about the features of the radius. Thank you.